Thank you. Launching yourself down a steep, rocky mountainside against the clock, huh? Which to our own, but the best mountain bikers in the world certainly do. They're heading for Fort Wayne this weekend for one of the top international competitions. The event will see a variety of death-defying races and a downhill course, which has been redesigned for tougher than ever. Craig Anderson reports. Just point and head on. Fort William event is one stage in the Mountain Bike World Cup series, and it's carved itself a reputation as one of the top venues for elite mountain bikers. And now, they've made the downhill course even tougher. It's very important for us to keep Fort William at the, at the front of, forefront of international mountain biking competition, so you've got to keep refreshing, introducing new features. The riders need to have something that they come along and they get excited about, and of course the fans, they're always looking for new things, new features that they can go, wow, look at these guys, what are, what are they doing, you know, how can they do that? Reigning world champion Tracy Mosley has won at Nevis Range four times. She's hoping to make it five this weekend with support from a British crowd. <laughs> There's been a huge growth in the popularity of off-road cycling, whether downhill, cross-country, or just a gentle meander through the woods. Scottish events like this one at Fort William and facilities here have put Scotland at the leading edge internationally. It's got fantastic terrain. It's a sport which is not weather dependent, so you can do it any time. It's on people's doorstep, and we've got very enlightened land access rights. So, come this weekend, more than 350 competitors will be hurling themselves down this 2.8 kilometre track. It's a vertical drop of more than 1,500 feet. I think they're extremely brave. And quite mad. Craig Anderson reporting Scotland, Fort William. And I think I'm going to see that